Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 2, subject general science, chapter 7, our body. Uh, please refer to your textbook page number 55. It's chapter 7, our body. Here in the warm up, they have given a small uh, exercise. Tara and Sara are hungry. Their tummies are making noises. Mom is teasing them and saying they have little mice running in their tummies. Do Sara and Tara have mice in their tummies? No. But what is making the noises? It because the food is there is no food in the stomach, no. So it make the stomach makes noise. Okay, to make uh, to let you know that it is hungry and you should eat. Okay, our body is an amazing and wonderful, isn't it? Our body is so special. We have, we can do different kinds of things. We can walk, we can sit, we can talk, we can think, we can laugh, we can sing, we can dance. So many things we can do from our body, right? It is like a living machine. M-A-C-H-I-N-E. Machine means you might have seen different kinds of machines. The laptop. Laptop is a kind of machine. Computer is a machine. Washing machine. Uh, refrigerator there that is also machine okay like them our body is also a machine m a c h i n e machine it can also it can do so many things right now although all human beings have a similar body we all look different you look entirely different from your friends right your friend doesn't look like your other friend right you have, everybody around you even though we have same body parts like head hands legs if even though we have same body parts but we look entirely different from each other isn't it some people are short some are tall no, you might be taller than your friend, but shorter than your other friend. So, there are some people are short while some are tall. Then, people have a different color for their hair and eyes. Some people have blue eyeballs. Okay, some people have brown eyeballs. And some people have red hair. Some people have blonde hair. Some people have black hair. Okay, there are different colors in our eyeballs and in our hair. It is not same for it. We have hair. Everybody has hair. Everybody has an eye. Has a pair of eye. But the color of that eye is different for each one of us. We might be having brown eyes. But somebody else will be having a blue eye. Sometimes it is even possible to have a green eye. So the color of the hair and eye are different in different people then people have different facial features facial features means some have round face but some have a long face okay you and your family might be similar okay you might look alike you might look like your parents okay either you will look like your father or your most uh, likely to your father or most likely to your mother but you all will have similar kind of face. Either it is a round face or it is a long face. Okay. So, eyes are small or big. Some have a sharp nose and some have a flat one. Okay. We have different kinds of eyes. As we have different kinds of eyes, our nose shape is also different. Some of the, our noses will be very sharp. Some will be very blunt or flat ones. Okay. So, the these all these features make us different from each other, unique from each other. Okay. We might be having the similar parts, but we are unique. We are different from each other. Okay. From outside, we may look different, but all have the same body parts. Uh, you might be having a round face. You have a face. You might be having a long face. You have a face, right? Like that. Each body part has a function to perform. Okay. Each 
body part has a function to perform so the parts of our body are called organs o r g a n s organs in last year we had studied about five sense organs what are they eyes nose ears tongue and skin right we had learned about five sense organs they let us know what is happening around us but in this chapter we are going to learn about different kinds of organs that are present in our body organs are nothing but they are different parts of our body now before we learn about different parts of our body there are mainly two types of parts in our organs in our body that is internal organs and external organs i n t e r n a l internal o r g a n s organs internal organs e x t e r exter n a l external organs o r g a n s these are the two different kinds of organs what are the two different kinds of organs i n t e r n a l internal organs e x t e r n a l external organs to begin with we are going first going to learn what are the different external organs in our body now external organs means the organs that we can see with our eyes okay which you can sense which you can see from with your own eyes they are called as external organs especially these organs are outside okay it is covered by the skin but it is outside like example nose mouth arms legs knees hands etc these are the organs which are outside they are external as the word says external these body parts they are outside you can see these body parts you can see the nose you can see the mouth you can see the arms you can see the legs you can see the knees you can see the hands okay these are the different external organs now here is the body parts which are external in your body like starting with head hair eyes nose ears lips neck chest stomach thumb fingers knee foot heel toes ankle leg hand arm shoulder chin all these things are the external organs they are outside you can see them okay the organs which you can see are called external organs now what are internal organs now the organs which you cannot see which are inside our body are called internal organs let us see the definition internal organs are the body parts of our uh, the parts of our body which we cannot see are called the internal organs internal organs example brain heart lungs and stomach this is just few examples for the internal organs all the organs that is inside our skin that is inside our body which help our body to function properly are called the internal organs understood now there are many internal organs in our body each organ has a important job to do now here is the picture of the different internal organs first one is lungs helps us in breathing liver helps us in digestion of the food kidneys helps us in purification of water stomach helps us to keep the food digestion of the food brain brain helps us to think and heart heart pumps blood throughout our body you don't have to worry much about the internal organs we will be studying properly about them in the next video but now you i hope you have understood what are internal organs and external organs right so thank you children stay at home stay safe take care of yourself please read the textbook do the exercises in your textbook read at least one page every day and keep touch with the studies okay thank you children stay at stay at home stay safe take care of yourself